Welcome back everyone to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope your Sunday is going well. Today we had another episode of Weekly Movie News. We have a lot to talk about today. I swear we have like 15 stories to talk about. Some major, some minor, but make sure you get a snack. And yeah, let's get it started. Bo Willimon will co-write James Mangold's new Star Wars movie, which I don't think has a release date yet. I forget when the next Star Wars movie is. I think the next Star Wars movie is the Mandalorian one and then the the ray one so i don't know when this one's coming gonna, gonna come out gonna come out but it follows the origins of the jedi set twenty five thousand years in the past this though is really what i want out of star wars i want a totally new story i want a story of a new jedi no more like prequel stuff no more sequel stuff i mean this kind of is a prequel but i don't want any characters that we've already seen before i want something new this is really new Twenty five thousand years in the past the origin of the jedi that sounds really cool because we're getting the accolade that's kind of like the origin of like the dark side the sith so it's gonna be kind of cool to see the origin of the jedi james mangled i think always does a pretty good job directing films dial destiny wasn't great i really thought that that one was probably his weakest film but all of his other films on his resume i think he did a great job with you know logan uh forby ferrari some other ones so i cannot wait for this one i think james mangled and Bo will probably knock it out of the park and i'm really looking forward to see what's going to go on in this story we got some huge news dune 2 will be released on digital this week this tuesday april 16th i am so excited to watch this movie uh, i i'm just so ecstatic you know some people say it's too early to go on digital but you know i think it's fine they had it in theaters for like a month and a half i think and then you know it's going to still be in theaters so if you still want to go watch in theaters it's still going to be there for you i think they're re-releasing imax too so if you can't go out to the theaters you can watch it at home on digital if you can you can still go see it in theaters i might even go see it in theaters even though i'm going to buy it on digital but now I'm open to just watching this movie once every day now that I own it. I, I cannot wait. It's such, uh, it's such a perfect film. It, as I said, my new favorite movie of all time. You might say, recency bias. Not really. I've seen the movie nine times in theaters. I don't think that's recency bias. And since I'm going into operation and I'm going to be out for a couple days, all, all the videos you're seeing are now pre-recorded from now on for the next week. I'm just going to be in bed watching this every single day. I cannot wait. It's a, it's a masterpiece and I'm definitely going to be by it and I hope that you guys buy it too. The next season of Pretty Little Liars is called Summer School and it's going to premiere May 9th on Max. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a weekly show just like the first season. You know, the first season I started, I think I watched like two episodes and I actually really enjoyed it. I just haven't gone back to it. I think I might watch the first season before this comes out so i can maybe review this because i'm actually you know looking forward to it i think the performances in the first two episodes were great and i've heard that it's actually the whole season was actually pretty good pretty good mystery i've heard that the finale was kind of disappointing you know i kind of the original pretty little liar show i watched a couple seasons and i fell off because it got a little too convoluted there's just too much happening i think it went on for too long i think that this kind of show this new kind of interpretation of the show is kind of cool like they set it in a different like kind of place every time different season every time summer school sounds pretty cool but yeah i still need to finish the first season but yeah i think i'm actually gonna go back and watch the first season so i can get ready for this one and then we have Haley steinfield has been cast in michael b jordan and ryan coogler's new upcoming vampire movie this one is really starting to ramp up and i think they're gonna start filming it pretty soon because i think it's really releasing either next year or 2026 but they're getting some great people for this michael b jordan teaming up ryan coogler once again as we already know they make some great movies together fruit Roll station is the only one i haven't seen creed movies great but Haley steinfeld added to the cast Haley steinfeld is so great she's just she's owning it right now in a lot of things i i loved her in edge of 17 of course great in the spider-verse movies and i've heard she's great in the dickinson show on apple tv but i hope this is a great i don't really know what the story is going to be only know that's a vampire film but they got a stat cast we got a couple delays here the crow remake has been delayed all the way to august 23rd i think it was set to come out in june alongside the bad boys 4 movie ride or die so i think you know i think one of the studios was going to watch who was going to move first and it was the crow that decided to move first because if you think about it, they are aiming at the same audience they're both a rated r aiming at pretty much adults adult men and all that and so i think it's a good idea that the crow moved because i think bad boys is going to do a lot of box office money since the third one made a lot the crow you know it doesn't have a lot of hype going into it. Me personally, I'm very hyped to see it probably because I haven't seen the original. But at CinemaCon, they even said this isn't really a remake. This is a new interpretation. So I'm excited, I'm excited to see the new interpretation. I think Bill Skarsgård is going to kill it like he does with every single role. And I really like the trailer. I know a lot of people didn't really like the feel of it. But I think it looks like a really fun ride. Really fun R-rated action ride. So I'm really looking forward to it even though it got delayed to August. Another delay is that Saw 11 has been delayed a whole year basically to September 26, 20. 
2025. This shouldn't come as a surprise because Saw 11 was originally dated for I think October 2024 this year and they haven't even started filming it yet. I think they said they're going to start filming it in a couple months this summer. You know, they were never going to make that date. I feel like it's better just to give them all the time they need to make this, make the story great, make the script great, have the cast do a great job in here, get all the, you know, effects right in the end. Because I think that what makes uh, the Saw movies pretty interesting is that, you know, all, all the ones in the middle, like five, six, seven, eight, nine were pretty bad. Then you had 10, which was actually really good. I was really surprised, probably because they took their time on it. So just give them their time on Saw 11. I think it will be, you know, maybe even better than Saw 10 because Saw 10, I think, is the second best in the franchise. Uh, just uh, not as good as Saw 1. But hopefully Saw is pretty good. You know, they're getting a whole another year to work on it. So I cannot wait. And The Boys Season 4 is now fully complete and ready for release. And it's, it's of course, coming out June 13th on Prime Video. I can't wait. You know, The Boys, it's one of my favorite TV shows, I think, of all time and I, I can't wait for season four it's gonna get crazy you know coming after gen v season one and you know tv we're living in a golden age of tv right now this year we had you know shogun it's great it's amazing then we had fallout which was terrific so, such a surprise uh pro, three body project pre, three body problem which i really enjoyed invincible season two which was amazing x-men 97 is amazing so far then you're gonna have a little bit of a break in may but in june it's gonna ramp back up again because you got the boys, you got the act light, and you have the bear season three coming out. June is going to be crazy, and the boys season four is officially complete, so look for that on June 13th. Phil Lord and Chris Miller's Project Hail Mary movie starring Ryan Gosling will officially release in 2026 in theaters. The film follows a man who wakes up from a coma afflicted with amnesia and soon remembers he was sent 12 light years away from Earth to save humanity. I cannot wait for this. Anything Ryan Gosling's in, sign me up. Favorite actor of all time. It's already been said many times. But Phil Lord and Chris Miller is why I'm really excited because I think they're really great at what they do. You know, this is from the writer of The Martian. It's it's based off a book. And I think that, that The Martian book was really good. I haven't read Project Hail Mary, but I do own it. And I'm definitely going to read it before 2026. But I think the main news here is that it finally has a pretty big release say i'd say 2026 no like month or day but we finally know what year it's going to come so i'm just counting down the days so i can watch it and we had some news that the super mario bros sequel is going to be releasing in april 2026 i'm kind of excited for it but also i couldn't care less because the first one was so average Hopefully it's a lot better than the first one. I know the animation is going to be great just like the first one, but I thought the first one was a little too childish for my liking as someone who grew up with the game. So I thought they would include some more adult humor in there like some animated movies do. But I'm really excited to see where the characters go, where they take this movie even more than the first one. Because I thought the first one was fun, but I think it could have been a lot better. So we'll see about that. And we got some interesting news that I'm not familiar with. A Heroes reboot series is in development from creator uh, Tim Kring. The reboot titled Heroes Eclipse is set years after the events of the original 2006 superhero series as new evolved humans are discovering their powers. You guys are going to have to let me know if this hero show is good because I've never seen the original hero show. I guess it's a superhero show, but they're finally, I guess, doing a reboot series. I don't know if people ask for this. I don't know anything about this. I'm going to have to look it up, see if it's really good, but we got a hero's reboot in the works. My favorite news of the week is that Christopher Nolan's Interstellar is officially going to be re-released this fall for its 10th anniversary in IMAX and 70 millimeter screens. This is all I would have hoped for in my life. It's my second favorite movie of all time. It's a, it's such a mind blowing film. It changed the way I think about film. It got me into film, got me into kind of filmmaking YouTube, starting to like review movies, take them more seriously. It kind of changed my life because whenever someone asks what movie kind of changed your life, I got to say Interstellar because that one just meant a lot for me. It hit me really hard. You know, Matthew McConaughey gives a great performance. The ideas, the visuals, cinematography, the score going on here. It's insane. One of the most insane movies I've ever, I've ever seen. And I was too young to see this in the theaters when it officially released. So I cannot wait to see this in IMAX. And if you haven't seen this movie yet, don't watch it right now. Just wait till it goes in IMAX and just see it for the first time in IMAX. It'll probably be a life-changing experience. Monarch Legacy of Monsters has officially been renewed for season two and multiple spinoffs are in development at Apple TV. You know, I don't really know how to feel about this because I never finished Monarch Legacy season one. You know, I watched halfway through it. I, I kept up on the weekly binge. And then since it was December and January, I was really busy during that time. So I never really, I kind of stopped even not because it was bad, just because I was really busy. So I never got around to finishing season one. You know, I'll probably pick it up someday before season two to get ready. But I just don't really have the energy or time to start watching this show again from the beginning because I kind of forgot what happened. But if you're a big fan of this show, we got season two to look forward to. And you got multiple spinoffs. I think Apple's doing a great job with this MonsterVerse. And you got Warner Bros. And you got legendary they're doing a great job at kind of 
equaling out the shows and the movies, so that's really exciting. The live action Minecraft movie has officially wrapped filming and it's gonna hit theaters April 4th, 2025. So just basically in a year, almost a year from now, you're gonna see this movie. And this is actually wrapped filming pretty fast. I, I don't know when they started, but I swear they were only filming for like four months. I've seen some set photos go around in like the Minecraft trees. I really don't think that this movie is going to be good, but I'll be happy if I'm surprised next year and it's really good. I just don't, I don't see a way that a live action Minecraft movie will be good. They're probably going to back, go back and do some reshoots in a couple months, but I do not know how this is, is, is going to work visually, store, like a storytelling perspective and the script. I, I don't know because a lot of, you know, the kids nowadays play Minecraft still. It's a very popular game, but a lot of people my age played Minecraft when we were young. So what do we expect from this Jack Black and Jason Momoa? I don't know what to expect. I'm so nervous for this movie. We'll see it in a year. Is it good? Is it bad? I, I, I guess we're just going to have to watch it and find out. The first trailer for Transformers 1 is officially set to release uh, next week for the public. That's a rumor, but the, they, saw, they saw the trailer at CinemaCon to a positive response. You know, I'm very excited for this trailer, very excited for a new Transformers in a different medium and animated movie about how the Transformers, you know, are friends at first, and then they learn how to, you know, transform and all that. I feel like it'll be pretty cool. The animation style I heard is really good. I won't be able to react to this trailer because I will be out for the next week, as I said, but I'm really anticipating to watch it, and hopefully it does come out next week because this is a rumor, but it's set to come out next week. It's said that voice work for Invincible Season 3 is already complete, so we should be looking forward to getting Season 3 easily next year I'm, I'm guessing 2025 i don't see them taking a long break like they did between season one and season two the creators already said that that's not going to happen again so hopefully next year because i i can't wait after that cliffhanger after that finale of season two what a banger finale of season two the first half of season two was a little bit worrying because it was really slow but the second half picked it right back up so i can't wait for season three a lot of crazy stuff is going to happen i bet so yeah we're probably looking forward to getting season three at least uh you know mid mid or early 2025 nita costa is a Officially in talks to direct 28 years later part two this is kind of confusing to me i gotta look up if someone's directing 28 years later part one i don't know i didn't even know it was supposed to be in part one and part two i thought it was just one movie maybe i have the news wrong on here but that's what the official outlets are saying that's what this is from deadline so i'm gonna have to look up if someone's directing part one yet it's weird if they only have a director for part two but nia da costa i like her work i like her direction with Candyman. marvels wasn't that great but i'm interested to see what she can do here peacemaker season two has officially begun filming and this is kind of interesting to see peacemaker season two and superman filming at the same time i know that james gunn isn't totally going to be behind season two that much because he probably has other directors to do this since he's busy on Superman, but I'm probably expecting him to have some creative, you know, decisions over this one. So it's kind of interesting to see both of them filming at once. Pretty exciting, though, that everything's ramping up finally with James Gunn's DC Universe. I'm excited for season two because I really did love season one. Hopefully it's going to be as good as season one. Hopefully it's not confusing to see all these characters in the new universe. But we'll just have to wait and see. Our last news story for today is a little bit of a tease for Deadpool and Wolverine because I love to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. And Sean Levy said that they've had some early test screenings for Deadpool in season three and he says that we've had some early screenings that were extremely extremely promising i mean i think cinemacon can even back this up because the footage that was shown has got some really positive responses they got nine minutes and they got to see some very funny lines the start of the movie and all that i can't wait for this movie bring it bring it to me we what do we got to wait like i guess we got to wait like three three and a half months four months for this i cannot wait i feel like it's easily gonna be the movie this summer gonna make a load of money probably gonna be the highest grossing movie of the year i, I don't know i don't know i feel like a lot of kids are gonna try to sneak into it because it's rated r sean levy i don't think he's gonna let us down i think he's gonna have a very funny movie is it gonna be serious at times i don't know how's the story gonna be is it gonna be convoluted i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see and also i think that there's gonna be a new trailer coming out in may to play in front of planet of the apes so i cannot wait to see that but that's all the news for this sunday as i said i hope your sunday is going well let me know what you guys thought about the news that i talked about today and make sure you did like this video subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 700 subscribers it's free to do so i'll see you guys in the next one peace out